right. Yeah, we are uh, up and running, I do believe. Yep. Yep, right, we are uh, up and running. Um, so I will just uh, set it so that all I've got is the uh, the chat up there. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Right, good evening, fuckers. Um, I'm back with another uh, completely unscheduled um, Elite Dangerous stream. And for this one, um, yeah, I've uh, I've got the the two other regular tow rags uh, in line. Uh, so we have uh, Apache UK and Jimbo76 along uh, with us. And we are going to be uh, heading into hazardous uh, extraction sites in a trio of uh, Imperial Couriers which uh, should strike fear in the hearts of uh, any ships that happen to come along. Um, I can know I've already got two viewers already, so Erodian is here as well as in-game, and uh, Pro Skills has uh, uh, shown up as well. It must be a very slow night for those two. Um, right. Uh, well... I'll start by uh, just quickly going through like uh, a few of the stats because I have done a, or progressed a little bit since the last uh, Elite Dangerous video I did. Uh, combat rank is still very slowly making its way up towards uh, Elite 1. I'm somewhere in the region of 27% uh, along that way. Explorer rank I'm about 36%. Trade rank, though, has certainly uh, progressed. Um, yeah, that's now maxed again. So that is uh, Elite 5. Uh, the Mercenary rank, I am in. I'm up to Deadeye. And I'm something like 22% um, through that. And with the old Exobiology, I made it to Ecologist uh, a few days ago. And I'm currently 6% into that one. But the important thing is what ship uh, loadout do I have so I'll um, have a quick run through of this and then uh, while we're waiting for uh, anyone else to uh, come along um, Panther and uh, Jim can uh, quickly run through their loadouts so we'll start off with the hard points then so uh, I've got two multi cannons I don't usually use multi-cannons, but this is one ship where multi-cannons really are uh, the best choice, um, hands down. So, yeah, two um, fixed Class 2 multi-cannons. They both have high-capacity magazine. Uh, the first one is uh, up to Grade 5 with the Corrosive Shell uh, Experimental. The only reason I took it up to uh, grade 5 is because, obviously, you lose, I think it's 20% of your uh, ammo capacity when you uh, fit um, corrosive shell. So, getting that up to grade 5 will sort of slightly negate that, uh, you know. Um, the second multi-cannon, again, yeah, high capacity magazine, this one only at grade 4, and this has uh, the oversized... Uh, experimental fit to it purely because I couldn't think of anything else to put on there. Uh, final weapon is a class 2 gimbal pulse laser which has the grade 5 rapid fire um, uh, mod fitted and the phasing sequence uh, experimental. As far as uh, utility mounts, no big surprise, it's uh, for class a or four um yeah a grade uh shield boosters um uh three of them are resistance augmented uh one is uh yeah heavy duty with the old core internals again no surprises military grade composite armor which i then modded with uh the lightweight mod and uh, angle plating experimental. I really don't know why I bothered putting that on there because the armor strength of this thing is so low that uh, if my shields do go down, um, I'm I'm fucked, basically. <laughs> uh, 
Um, power plant, uh, 4A, overcharged to grade 5 with thermal spread. Thrusters, I mean, you know the drill by now with uh, everything else here. So, uh, yeah, 3A thrusters, dirty drive tuning, drag drives, frame shift drives, yeah. 3A increased range, uh, mass manager. Light support is uh, has uh, yeah lightweight grade five. I think I rather overdid it. I mean grade five lightweight when it's only a one A life support anyway. It's not going to make a vast amount of difference. Uh, power distributor is uh, weapon focused uh, grade five with super conduits. Um, experimental sensors are long range. Small ship, small sensors. Long range is a no brainer. Um, and then into the optional internals. I haven't exactly gone mad when it comes to a uh, variety of uh, optional internals. So 3A uh, shield generator, which has thermal resistant um, grade 5 and the fast charge experimental. If we go right away down the bottom, um, I've got the detailed surface scanner with grade 5 expanded probe uh, radius. And every other optional internal slot has a Guardian Shield reinforcement package in it. And um, the net result of all that lot is that uh, yeah, my shield health is 1410. Kinetic resistance of 52.6, thermal resistance 59.9, and explosive resistance of 66.8. My shields are good. Um, my armor is abysmal. Um, you know, armor health 258. Um, explosive resistance is minus 19.2. Thermal resistance 14.9. Kinetic resistance 6. I'm dead if my shields go down, basically. And no shield cell bank, but... Uh, grade or class 3 shields they, they recharge fast enough I don't think a shield cell bank is at all necessary so that is what I have um, that's enough babbling from me uh, for now on so uh, who's next uh, Prince UK um, what you got on your uh, courier then similar to yours actually which I didn't realize right to start with I have got two 2F multi cannons which are gimbaled overcharged I think I've got them to grade 5 now and uh, a oversized mod on now um, or experimental uh, I've got a gimbal beam laser a 2D one um, that's got efficient weapon and thermal vent uh, the utility mount is all shield boosters. I have got two heavy duties with super capacitors and two resistance augmented with false block. My internals, the core ones, is a 4A power plant which is overcharged with thermal spread. I have got 3A thrusters which are, I think I've got them to grade 5 now, and they've got drag drives on, dirty drive tuning. I have got a 3A frame shift drive with mass manager, not that that really matters. Um, I've got a 3A power distributor with weapon focused to grade 5 with super conduits experimental. And I've got long range sensors. And I've also got a military grade composite as my armour, but that I haven't touched. As for my optional internals, I have got a 3A shield generator, which is hum vista grade four or five because inara doesn't seem to want to update completely um that's got thermal resistance on it and the, the uh, experimental is high cap pretty sure and your I'm shield generator cap. is grade five but yeah go on i've got a detailed surface scanner with uh expanded uh, scanning radius it's going to come in really useful this evening. Oh, be vital well, much like yours much like yours Everything else inside my ship says Guardian Ship Reinforcement. Yeah. Three, three twos and two ones. Yeah. Pretty good choice. Uh, yeah, there are quite a few similarities in our loadouts. It's really the... Uh, um, well, yeah, it's, it's basically the, the lasers. <laughs> it's, the, it's the big difference. Well, well, to give you the final rundown then, my shield health is 1,606. I've got thermal resistance of 53.4, kinetic of 47.2, 
explosive of 61.9. My armor elf is 280, it's rating is 30, which is shit, so therefore, the kinetic resistance of my armor is minus 20, the explosive is minus 40, the thermal is on zero, and the caustic is on zero. And that is the SS Heaven Can Wait, as it stands. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Basically, your armor hasn't been modded at all, but yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't think it's worth modding um, in this thing. So, um, Jim, hit us with it. What have you got on uh, your one there? Hello. Yeah, well, mine is my, it was my um, Thargoid Scout killing ship that I haven't really done much to since I've had it because I haven't given myself enough time to do it. So, uh, but we'll go, we'll go through it anyway. So the hard points are all beam lasers, all gimbaled uh, 2D with uh, grade 5 um, efficient and, and uh, thermal vent. So I may be good for tearing shields down off other ships, but nothing much else after that. Um, also good at keeping your ship cool. Yes, and I will need that, uh, which I'll uh, explain in a minute. So, the utility mounts are all the uh, three shield boosters, and obviously, what you need in an extraction site is a Xeno scanner. Oh, essential <laughs> equipment, yeah. <laughs> uh, the shield boosters are uh, heavy duty grade 5 with super capacitors, all three of them. Uh, we've got the core internals, uh, military grade composite armour, it's grade 4 uh, heavy duty. Uh, power plant is uh, is only grade one thermal spread and overcharged. Uh, thrusters uh, the usual grade five dirty with drag drives. Frame shift drive, no one cares. Uh, life support grade five lightweight. Power distributor uh, grade five weapon focus for super conduits. And sensors are lightweight, not long range because uh, this, I didn't need long range for the uh, scouts. Uh, okay, uh, optionals, we've got a uh, 3A uh, standard shield kit with uh, grade 5 reinforced and high cap. <laughs> Cargo wrap, that'd be useful. Um, we've got a 2D hull reinforcement package with grade 5 heavy duty and deep plating. Uh, we've got another one of those, exactly the same. And another one exactly the same. And then we've got two Guardian Shields and another useful, well, these are their class one, the Guardian Shield reinforcement. And the last useful thing is the decontamination limpet controller. Oh, that, that would be vital, that thing, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we've got a shield health of 1721. In 46% uh, percent kinetic, minus 6.4 thermal, which is why cooling them down is important. And 55% explosive. Um, armor health is 1,432 with uh, rating of 30. Uh, kinetic is 27.1. Thermal is 34.6. Explosive is 15. And yeah. That is the SS Baden Powell, which is named after Scalkin. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it sounds like your uh, shields are going to have a bit of a tough time against uh, lasers, but your uh, armour is something like about four times the strength of mine and uh, Chris's combined. So, <laughs> you, you, uh, you should be okay even if your shields come down. Because that's why it's not going to take long for them to recharge. All right, let's just have a quick look at the uh, comments here. Uh, dare I say this looks better than Karnov? Guys, fucking close though, isn't it? Eh? Um, on a serious matter, will you do more C64 game reviews? Uh, no, um, I I'm not going to be doing any more uh, retro uh, game reviews. Um, you heard it here actually a long time after I said on the uh, main Meister channel that uh, yeah I'd stop doing them anyway uh, 
That is it. So the nearest hazardous uh, extraction site, 5.13 light seconds away. Uh, or at least it is on my um, nav panel. I assume you two have got that one locked in. Well, one of you has. <laughs> yeah, all, all set. Alright, okay. Let's go. Uh, this lot that uh, are going to be in this extraction site, I have no idea what's going to hit them. Oh, have you still got the um, weapon colour on your Jim uh, uh, on on your one? There was it the the yellow um, weapon detailing? Uh, yeah, I think so. I can't remember now. Hang on, I'll fire. I'll fire it there. Hold on. Yeah, yellow. Okay, well I have no problems being able to identify who's firing what then. Um, I, I'm trying to remember what I put on mine. Yeah, blue on mine. And uh, yeah, we know pants has the standard, so it'll be the sort of reddish colour. And there will certainly be no um, difficulty in spotting who is in what ship, seeing as, uh, well, Chris has his standard uh, battleship grey, which almost looks black in uh, Odyssey now. Um, Jim has his flying pacer, and I have this revolting sort of purplish uh, slipstream uh, paint job. So, um, yeah. No one's getting mixed up as to who is in what ship, that is for sure. Extraction site's in the light, which is always nice. Yeah, I think we'll have any trouble there. Well, the darkness, we won't be able to tell anyway. We've got the night vision on. Uh, yeah, we should be fine here. Now, last time I was here, the first enemy ship I encountered was uh, an elite anaconda. You can bet your fucking life we won't get one of them tonight. Not with Jim with us, we won't, no. <laughs> Jim seems to scare away all of the anacondas. He's the anti-conda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I scare them all back to Hudson Orville where they came from. <laughs> Alright. I'm in. Let's see what we got. There's an Imperial Clipper here, but yeah, there are no anacondas at the moment. Imperial Clipper is deadly, and he's on his own, and he's, he's worth 643,000, so uh, yeah, he's definitely worth going after. Right, looks like we're all here. I think we bored everyone to death in the uh, <laughs> comments now. <laughs> There's been nothing added, uh, uh, well, since pretty much uh, the moment we started. Alright, so Silas Dark here is, uh, yeah, the I reckon the first target, especially as he's just started scanning me. Alright, um, is, uh, is he in range of everyone? He's in range of me. He's certainly in range of me. Alright. Uh, okay, yeah, he's in range. Just about to come in range of me. Alright. Alright, okay, yeah, he's in range. Jesus Christ. This is uh not the most difficult of uh Take you longer to take you know, put down than I thought you would. Yeah, 
as he's down there. Right, there's a fellow ants in the area. He's just gone out of range. Let's see if I can uh, find him. Here he is. Oh, fucking hell, he keeps coming at the range and then disappearing. Oh, that he keeps using a. Uh, uh, oh, I got him back again. Oh, and after all, that's fucking shield of justice, so he's gonna be clean anyway. Yeah. Cunt. A clean fertilizer. Yeah, you don't get many of them. Right, uh, well, there is a deadly uh, fed assault ship. We carry on in this direction. He is wanted. He's about 10 kilometres uh, away. Worth 600,000, so. Uh, yeah, we'll have taken out two ships and already made over a million. Definitely better than Guardian Angel. I mean, you... You're, you're setting your sights very high there if you're expecting a lot of games to be better, you know, better looking than Guardian Angel. And yeah, they still sent um, a hatch rate Olympus after you. So it sounds like you got a real smart one out here. I get the feeling a certain someone is never going to live that down, are they? Oh, I've got a dangerous uh, fed assault, sh uh, uh, no, fed dropship here. From Kevin. Kevin Worrell, that's the gun. Well, speaking of dangerous, yeah, I, I suppose I could say I'm, I'm here with the dangerous brothers. Ha 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 ha! pair of you, uh, Yep, both on uh, that rating. Who's it? Oh, I was just going to say who's in range. Uh, looks like we all are, I think. Uh, I'm not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's. Uh, I don't think we're going to take him out before you get here, especially as the cunt has now started chaffing. Yeah. Which makes it impossible for me. Alright. Shields are down. Someone's flown in on me. Someone flew to the back of me as well. Not used to having six multi cannons. <laughs> yeah, having, having to uh, scale right down to only two. I had to change one of my uh, multi cannons because initially I had. Um, uh, was it. Uh, What's the, what's the one that can uh, convert some of the uh, damage to thermal? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Anyway, um... Sorry about that. Anyway, it uh, also increases uh, your heat levels. And I was overheating like fuck knows what using that thing. Mate, I haven't got, I haven't got any car, cargo racks. <laughs> yeah, there's only one of us who has any cargo racks, but uh, I'm going on the safe assumption they're all empty in, in your ship there, Jim. Yeah, completely empty. <laughs> I've got a ship who's right here with us. Campbell 5.
and down he goes. Ah, oh, we've got a uh, deadly vulture right here with us, Jay Seldon. Vulture should pay fairly well. Three hundred ninety-five grand. I thought it would be more than that, but uh, it's not exactly terrible. ramming me, that's for sure. I shouldn't complain too much that their shields are still up, but I've got phasing sequence, so I am still doing damage to their, their ships. So it's just that now that their shields are down, yeah, we, we can do a downside more damage to them. Down he goes. Well, there's a Python uh, on the uh, sensors. It doesn't look very promising as far as him being wanted, though. Which is really annoying because he's elite. But he is wanted, and he is in a wing of two. Yeah, he's got a bounty on him. He's paying about 400,000, I think that's it. 414. I'll take a bit of that. The fact that he's elite means, uh, yeah, you two definitely want to have a, a bit of this. Right, I'm ready when you are. There you go, I'll open the bag. There we shields aren't, uh, yeah, they didn't stand a hell of a lot of chance. Five percent left. Uh, we'll have him. There you go. All right, to There's another pipe in the area. This one does look like he's mining. Yeah, he is. Uh, we've got James Hunt here uh, in a you know, dangerous uh, fed dropship. I just realised that uh, Python we just took out, he was supposed to be in a wing of two. Where the fuck was his wingman? <laughs> well, I think he'd done a runner. Uh, I mean, you know, face of the prospect of taking on three Imperial couriers in a Python, yeah, you'd, you'd run from that, wouldn't you? Uh, no. no. Get a feeling my Python's are all a bit better than his one. One of them's a mining ship. Oh, I think, I think all of mine, including the one that I do me Rubigo runs in, were probably better than that. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to 
floating around. I don't know if anyone is going to be bothering to pick them up, but I'll grab, certainly grab this one, let's see. This is an elite vulture, I don't know what he's paying, but... If it's an elite vulture, it's definitely worth going after. I'll just quickly grab these he's precipitated alloys. Five, he's paying 595,300. There's no way we're going to say no to that, I can't. Have some okay. good, then. Still some more. No, there's still some more precipitated alloys floating around. I only need to get one more, and I'm maxed on them again. So. Oh, I'm not even bothering with materials, so I'll have to shut my cargo. Um, my cargo scoop up on this thing. Otherwise, they got enough beads. Well, I fucked up big time there, and I flew right past them. I realise we're 18 kilometres from the centre of the site, so I'm just heading back to see if there's anything in here. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Alright, uh, 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 yeah, I'm not going to buy going after anymore. Yeah, that's right, we're going to You're faring better than I thought you would, in all honesty. That's from Erodian. Does that mean um, <coughs> you don't find uh, the Imperial Courier to be a good combat ship, or are you, <laughs> are you just expecting us to all be shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, th I think the Imperial Courier is uh, a great um, small combat ship. The only issue it has is it's not the most manoeuvrable not not uh, compared to several uh, small ships that uh, you could have alright what is fed a salt ship yeah uh, I see him ginger bees right, I see her then 400,000 for this one so uh, yeah She was taking a stay out long. Uh, these are the hull. No. All right. All right, mace. Um, only an expert. Almost certainly going to be wanted though. There you go, inner wing of two. His wingman is a vulture, which is handy. Well, I mean, that was just fucking <laughs> ludicrous. I have a feeling his wingman is going to do a runner. I five if he can do it, but he ain't. Oh, he's yeah, running. He's oh, we have him. Yeah, yeah uh, barely made uh, any impact on his shields at the moment. I'll let him go. Yeah. Right. There's another fed gunship in the area. It does look 
somewhat promising that he's going to be wanted. Only an expert. Yeah, he's wanted in a wing of three. Looks like with two eagles. Only paying 236 grand, but I'll take it. Range cannons, Chris. <laughs> well, um, I mean, you could fit long range uh, to, to these things. Yeah, he's he's got well, he's launched the ship launch fighter, and he's also got yeah his two wingmen. I mean, his wingmen are eagles. It's not going to be that difficult, really. Uh, that's him down. Uh, first wingman is Ben Walker, who's only a competent uh, eagle. He is not going to take much finishing off. He's also only competent, so yeah, we ain't going to take a lot either. So not to him. Way too late. Right, there's a uh, Imperial Clipper right here. He's elite. In a wing or two. Just rubber banded on mine a bit. Shields didn't last long, did they? No. Uh, NPC uh, clipper shields very rarely last long. Uh, they're a bit hopeless. I mean, granted, shields are not the uh, Imperial Clipper's strongest uh, area, but um, they're not as bad as the NPC ones, whatever you think. That's an idea, though, since that's the next ship on my list. Uh, definitely worth having. We should generate has been destroyed, and now so has he. Oh, his wingman's a deadly uh, vulture, so he's worth going after and all. Lolani Thor. Thor, or however you fucking pronounce it. down to four percent and now he's down to zero or shield wise anyway <coughs> I think, um, yeah, that basically, that idea goes down the car so you almost as soon as uh, we deploy hard points, doesn't it? It just becomes a total free-for-all, you know. <laughs> oh, come over here, you cunt. This vulture is so manoeuvrable anyway, he's down. 
Right, there's a, um, there are two more uh, clippers. One is a long old way away. What about this? Uh... Alright, yeah, this one's a damn sight closer. We'll take this one out first. Up on him. Well, the fact that he chaffs immediately is not the biggest surprise. I'll say these NPCs ain't sounding better clever with their shields. No. Um, they've always been shit, to be fair. I mean, yeah, I'll say clipper shields aren't its, aren't its best feature, but um, there are other things about it that make up for that. Specifically a moped that's having the bollocks revved off it and yet it's barely moving. Uh, that, um, <laughs> no, that, that would be it. I'm pretty sure I've just seen... Yep, yeah, we've got an anaconda right on top of us. Lido. Only a master. Buying 700 grand though. shell and uh, they were really help. So he's already down to 56% on his hull. Oh, what do you say? I have expected this. No one expects the Imperial Courier Inquisition. <laughs> That's him down, I mean, that was ludicrously easy. Well, the thing is, the three of us together in what we've got here probably almost adds up to my warship, Anaconda. Like, uh, you know, all of our weapons added together. Oh, yeah. It's not surprising that three of us can take this gun, or, yeah, was able to take that gun out. He did drop core dynamics composites, if any of you want the grade five. He also dropped oh, certain oh, alloys. Oh, I'm ignoring uh, materials tonight. Yeah, I have them tonight. Right, there's a um, wanted deadly clipper just over here. Alright, uh, I'm going to grab these thermic alibis and then I'll come over and... Uh, there you go. Oh, that's the one I saw earlier. Erodian degrees, yeah, motorbike wanker next to this dry. Believe me, if I had the fucking chance. The number of times I'll lay here fantasizing about having a sniper's rifle and taking pot shots on these cunts. I'm glad we stuck with motorbikes Fixed, uh, or yeah, fitted uh, fixed multi cannons. So yeah, you can chaff all you like. So when it, once your shields are down, there he goes. All right. Well, we have um, a choice between Diamondback Explorer or a uh, a Vulture, who is a long way out. 
So we'll go after the Diamondback, I suppose. Well, well I'm up to 8.5 million so far, so it's all good. I suspect we're all around there, yeah. How are you guys doing for ammo? Uh, make some more if I need it. I have 1,954. I think I'm all right. Yeah. I'm all right, but it's just beans, isn't it? Guys. Yeah, I can't imagine you're going to have uh, any, you know, too many uh, ammo problems there. Let's just see if he is wanted. There's no guarantee of it. Yeah, he is. You put overcharged on your uh, multi cannons. Yeah. Oh, okay. That would explain it. Yeah, no, it's all good. Want to pack a punch? I'm still getting used to not having a wide reload, isn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, um, yeah, he's, uh, his shields are constantly, uh, on the recharge. Right. Yeah, I'm going to oh, fucking, here we go again, he's back up. Who the fuck is this? Let me flying in the gym again. Hole was already at 95 when his shields finally came down. Scan me. Simon Farrington, who is in a Diamondback Explorer. Well, you, we're not exactly surrounded by a huge number of uh, like powerful ships out here. <laughs> not at the moment. Depends on this Python. Who Right, uh, yeah, there is also an Imperial Clipper around. He's like 12 kilometers out though. really did much in the way of uh, like evasive manoeuvres there. And to that the wind. 
Alright, now that Imperial Clipper, he's still around 12 and a half kilometers out. Ben Bloss, deadly, obviously wanted. Alright, and thinking that, yeah, everyone's shields are pretty much 100%. This is another one that really sort of like sells uh, the uh, Clipper as being a great ship, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, ignore um, <laughs> NPC Clippers. They are actually decent ships. Comments. What about in the way of new ships? All I seem to have. Ah, well, we got a, a dangerous vulture close by. Hurricane. Well, he's, he's getting hammered at the moment, so we better go and find him. We should have a, a purple. Uh, Signal now. Canisters of uh, water floating around. I've got a wanted Asp Explorer. He's 10 kilometers away. Stephen Law. He is paying 358,000, which is not bad for an Asp Explorer. I'm going to chase him down if you're. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah obviously he seems to be uh, heading in our direction anyway, even if he is chasing someone else. Two more wanted uh, Asp Explorers around here. Actually, one's about 10 kilometers away. I'm sure there's one that's closer. No, they're all uh, about 10 or 11 uh, kilometers away. 
they're all in the same area. One's on his own, the other two are in a wing of two, presumably the two uh, ASP explorers together. Nibbit seems to be the first target. There we go. Oh, he's only incompetent actually, this gun, so yeah, he's gonna be nothing at all. Oh, I've got his hold down at 94, his shields are still up. He's completely ignoring us. So he was at 88 when his hole went, uh, when his shields went down. And the old phasing sequence does have its uses. Yeah, I need to try that. Alright, to the other end. Where's the other one? Well, we've got two right here. this one's an expert, he'll put up a bit more of a challenge than the last one, although that's not saying a lot. Alright, so out the him. Alright, dies in these Jones, last one, right here with us. Yeah, you said he might have a bit more of a fight. Yeah, well, um, no. Yeah, he didn't do it at all, did he? No, not at If anything, this one seems to be... Yeah, that, that was the weakest of a lot. Oh, I've just been scanned by a dangerous Diamondback Scout. Is this really... That was not a Covid cough from me, mate, but I haven't coughed yet. I'm the one with a cough, but I have long had COVID, so it's probably left over from that. Well, I can safely say if I'm coughing, it's not nothing to do with COVID. It probably has everything to do with like a 30 or 40 uh, fag a day habit, which is much more healthy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long-term investment, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking just been slammed into it again. Oh, come on, he's only down at one percent. There he goes. Uh, right, we've got a uh, dangerous anaconda who was just in range. I'm going to head towards where he was. Yeah, here he is, Red McGregor, dangerous, and he's paying over a million. One million eighty four thousand four hundred and twenty nine.
Right, how far are you? Oh, about three kilometers. Oh, I'll keep him busy. Oh, you're here anyway, so. to me, uh, didn't do a lot of damage to either of us though. I got a uh, Imperial Clipper who's just dropped in. Looks like he's in a wing of two. If you want to run in total, we've just cleared 13 million by the way. Nice. Yeah, I'll do. Like. Is it the Cobra? Yeah. Uh, managed to just get out of his way, but nope. Sounds like the Cobra went uh, bye bye. Yeah. Well, he was taking pot shots at me while I was trying to get the couriers. I'm hoping you weren't trying to take out too many couriers. Shields are almost back up. No, he's down anyway, so. Alright, we've got another anaconda in the area. He's uh, about 11 kilometers away. Jamie, deadly. On his own. He's only paying 590 grand. That is really low for an anaconda, but. I'm not going to turn down a chance to destroy anacondas. Oh, no. yeah, he's got shit on fire. Where's he in, dude? He's not moving. I don't know whether I might. Anaconda seems to be putting up more of a fight than the one that paid a million. Man, that's a good bit of coding, man. He's gonna try and run. 
he's recalling his ship launch fire. Just stops when he's down anyway. Target destroyed. Well, my shields took a bit of a hit there, down a sixty one percent. He dropped uh, chemical manipulators. But yeah. Oh, I got another Imperial clipper. Nine kilometers away, master. Grab the fucking chase them, I? Yeah, mind you, at least it's actually uh, dropping ships in. I'd rather be chasing them than sort of like, you know, just standing around waiting for fuck knows how long for uh, something to show up. Seeing as uh, someone already uh, started firing on him, it's happy for our joining. You know, I really think that we are going to have to, at some point, come in here in a, a wing of um, sidewinders, because e even even this, uh, it, it's no problem at all. I've got a uh, ship launch fighter who's hanging around. I think it's the ship launch fighter that that uh, anaconda we took out um, dropped. It's supposed to have gone by now. He's not on my screen. It's another bit of diamond coat here if you want to get rid of him. Uh, yeah, I can't see him either. I'll go and get shot him. He's 11 kilometers away, but that's not going to take long to get there. I suppose we get it back to the center of the site again, since we are 11 kilometers away from it. May not, yeah. may not be a bad idea. Let me pull shields, regenerate a bit. Oh, I've crashed into that anaconda twice and um, uh, that clipper twice and I'm still on 94%. Ah, uh, fucker ran the head on, didn't they? No, the um, ship launch fighter that's still hanging about, uh, yeah, firing on him ain't doing anything. But he's not firing at anybody either, so fuck it, leave him there. Uh, what is he? He's in a wing of three. They've already started on someone. Let's go and show him how it is. His wingmen are two uh, Viper Mark IVs. Oh, that's going to be interesting then. Well, compared to the ships we're in, most uh, ships we encounter are going to be, uh, well, theoretically challenged. They probably won't be that, uh, that much of a challenge, but they should be. But, I mean, like, we really haven't been in any sort of like or face any sort of threat or anything at all any, every ship that's come along we just like finished it off in seconds that's what I'm saying about you know maybe we should 
come here in a winger sideline. It's about the only way we might actually, uh, you know, find ourselves in any kind of challenge at all. Yeah, there we go. Three ship launch fighters. I well, that would be horribly like uh, CQC then. Well, that certainly would take some doing. I've got Python and see if he's wanted. It's looking very unlikely. Yeah, I can see he's mining. Who's that? He's just scanned me. Jose. That's right. All right. Well, I've got an expert anaconda here. Well, I say here, he's ten and a half kilometres away, but. Uh, I'm just the same bug as you, shit balls fire, that you can't do anything with. Alright, yeah. Or, uh, yeah. A1 coding from uh, Frontier Developments. Don't worry, they'll sort it out in update 7. Yeah, they'll sort it out in update 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
there were no enemy ships around. We were flying around you know, looking for, for enemies and there wasn't any. Um, what, when we ended up uh, going to the, uh, yeah, coming to this extraction site, and, yeah, was it uh, 43 million or something we made? In about an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, that was better. We did, we, we did not stop. It was the first time I can remember <coughs> where I was gagging for a vape by the end of it, because <laughs> there was no let up. No, nah, not at all. Well, I've got a fed assault ship here, uh, deadly, uh, paying 564,000, so it's certainly worth going after. Uh, Vild Mark. I'm the next uh, bunch of right next to me if you guys are near me as well. Uh, if you want to go after that. Let me get, get the other one straight after. He's not that close to me, but he will be soon enough, I suppose. Thing. Um, right, there is a Diamondback Scout here. Uh, okay, Diamondback Scouts won't pay a lot, but they use Elite, so it'd certainly be worth uh, you to um, take him out. I think putting rail guns on a Diamondback Scout is a particularly good idea. one set up for, for combat and yeah it does pretty good I've uh, got uh, no complaints about it a of up. I mean yeah the big guns are all coming in now I can't see uh, the um, fed assault ship or wherever it was earlier so yeah he may have buggered off Just heading closer to the centre again. But I'm not seeing an awful Wait, lot of ships around. Oh, well, I mean, that's just not on. It's a very behavior. Yeah, I'm assuming they're there with the uh, Asp Explorer. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. They're all clean. There's another Vulture that's just shown up. Now, Vultures will be wanted. Uh, dangerous, Gerhard Nicer. Hmm. Well, yeah, wanted, he's in a wing of three. Wingmen look like they are adders. I mean, adders are now nothing but poxy fucking uh, taxis. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, how could we forget that? As much as I fucking wish I could. Which one do you want about? The one about the um uh, Yeah, the the transgender thing. Oh thank you for being you know 
or allowing me to change my gender as if it was a big deal. I mean, you can do that at any fucking time you like. Yes. So, yeah, it was basically, uh, please draw attention to me and, uh, you know, have a post in Frontier all about me and fuck off. Yeah, um, he's still only at seventy four per cent. I'm not too worried about his uh, wingman, I'm just focusing on this cut. Synthesize more, so yeah, they'll effectively have an infinite amount. Right, he's he's down anyway. Where's his wingman gone? I keep targeting that fucking ship bombs fire. That's uh. Yeah, I've still got one as well. Yeah, I'm still seeing much in our decent ships around at the moment so uh, uh, Erodian suggests pirate activity zone well, I haven't been to one of them for a, a fair old while um, yeah you go to one that's uh, threat six or seven yeah they can be pretty tough going Imagine there'd definitely be a bit of a challenge going on there. Well, no shortage of um, like anacondas and that, because it's nearly always pirate lords you see there, and they're always engineered like fuck knows what. So you'll get plenty with things like phasing sequence and their uh, lasers and, and shit like that. Oh, Vildmark is back. The, uh, the Fed Assault ship that I saw earlier. He's about 13 kilometers out. He's been in the wars a bit. His shields are really low. His hull's on 82%. He is paying 564000 so it's worth going after him, I think.
Yeah, it don't take long for uh, for assault ship shields to come back online because they are quite pathetic. It's all about the uh, armor with that thing rather than its shields. Pretty, uh, solid. That's why quite a few players use it as a battering ram. He looks like he's running. So he's now stopped. I think we've taken out his engines. Yeah, he's down. Uh, I've got a fed dropship um, who's been in the wars a fair bit. He's right around here with us. Uh, I mean, his hull's already down to 45%. What a loud alarm he's got on this uh, ship there. So the only other ship I've got on me uh, scanners at the moment is Diamondback Explorer, who's right here with us. I'm not entirely sure it's pronounced Parge Tor. <laughs> <laughs> That, that is uh, Commander Andy Pipkin. I haven't actually seen him in, uh, in game for a bit, but uh, it is quite a damning indictment of the state of uh, Odyssey at the moment, because uh, Andy Pipkin, he, he's a big elite fan. Um, uh, he's one of the most knowledgeable people about the game and the game lore that uh, I know. And he doesn't have Odyssey yet. Um, so if someone like that is not that keen on getting Odyssey at the moment, then, yeah, who the fuck is going to be keen on getting it? Well, I mean, I, I got it as soon as it came out, so me. Well, even before then, you pre-ordered it, didn't you? Yeah, uh, so we were stuck with it. Alright, oh, it's Imperial Clipper around. He said the last time he played was on May the 18th, the day before the sea release. Ah. Uh. I got it on pre-order though. Still need to install it, waiting for patch 7. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, mate, it has got a lot better. I mean, you do see a lot of uh, damning indictments on YouTube and that, but it has got a lot better. I mean, I'm, I'm playing it quite successfully, and I've got a graphics card, which is one gigabyte below the minimum spec, and it's working for me. Well, Todd Marshall here is paying 472 grand, which uh, ain't too shabby. Yeah, I need to get over there and start it. I was wondering why you hadn't uh, targeted him. I was looking at the chat, mate. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we'll, we'll all be getting this payout then. And he also says, I'm no law rex, but I tend to forget it again. Hello, Will. Uh, <laughs> well, he certainly helped me out on quite a few occasions. Um, okay, this seems awfully coincidental. That's the third ship now that has just stopped dead. Oh, the, the, the Dark Wheel. Yeah, I read that. Yeah, I, I 
had read it uh, quite a while ago. Um, but I recently bought Elite Frontier and uh, which was the PC one. First Encounters. First Encounters. Yeah, I recently just bought all them so I can read it again. Okay. I thought it was alright. Competent Python here. Yeah, William Rainsbury. He's in a wing of three with two, I think they were uh, Asp Explorers. Yeah, I need to read the Dark Wheel, so I'm going to try and get a Kindle version of it somewhere. Well, the Dark Wheel are in this game, sort of. Alright, let's zoom down. Zoom down. There's still one more. And they're all competent. It's, yeah, it's no wonder we made quite light work of them, even when I fly into them like that. Diamondback Explorer, Yari Markinen. Yeah, deadly Diamondback Explorer. He's certainly worth taking out. Not for not so much for the payout, but uh, I see no. You're not going to get any uh, bonus on your uh, progress run unless you take out elite ships now. I hope so, but uh, I haven't seen anything yet. Out of one percent, these fucking shields are back up. Reminds me with my uh, phasing sequence. Well, you're down anyway, so. Right, who's this? Maxim Boombata. Master uh, Fed dropship. He's almost certainly going to be wanted. Yeah, he is. I think Fed dropships are always wanted in uh, extraction sites. The only ones which are sometimes clean are uh, the Fed gunships. What's that, sorry? Okay, right, I'll check there in a sec. Oh, let's sort this gun out and uh, let's have a look. Mind you, I've got quite a few hits on him, so uh, I'm sure you two can uh, sort him out. Let's have a look. Um, Trom Erodian, there are some old familiar bugs re emerging over the days, points of interest disappearing on surfaces, and enemies inside walls that you can't shoot, for instance. Yeah, they keep fixing both of those, and then they do like one more patch or one more hot fix and yeah it's all fucked up again but then that's been the norm for uh, oh, seven years now um, with this game so it, it keeps on um, doing that um, read up on the Highford cache uh, it's been inactive for over four years that's the one over in Colonia isn't it I think um, I, I saw a bit about it 
Uh, it's been in active for over four years, but will become active tomorrow. Commanders are expecting a solid advance of the main storyline. Uh, oh, Cash is in Colonia. There we go. Um, yeah, and, and the thing is, I've had um, like a, a trip to Colonia, yeah, on, on the cards for a while. And um, I suspect we're going to go out there a bit too late to get in on, on this sort of thing. But, yeah, we will be sort of making our way out there. But it's not like we're going to be gunning it to uh, Colonia anyway. We're going to be uh, taking a fairly sort of like slow uh, slow trip out. Sedate stroll. Yeah, very sedate. Oh, that gun. Imperial clipper has shown up. Yeah, a quarter of a million for an Asterix Laura, I'll take that. Marcel Schiffel, who's only paying 231,000, and there's another uh, Imperial clipper in the area as well, once we've sorted out this gun. Right, I'll, I'll try I'll try the pronunciation again, alright? Per adjutura, right? <laughs> 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 I couldn't hear you too good there, I'm being drowned out by gunfire. Oh, that's South End for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that really is South End. Alright, that's it down. Yeah, I've missed him. Sight relief. Well, there is another one that is, yeah, close by here. He's three kilometres away, and this one's elite. Al Wilson. Paying over 500,000. That's not bad. I've got a shot in on this one. Yeah, so, yeah, make sure you uh, don't miss out on this fucker. Right, I've got a hit on him, so I'll let you two sort him out while uh, uh, maybe it'll redirect us again towards the bubble after it's gone live. Um, oh, can you imagine that though? You go all the way out to Colonia to, to check out that cache and <laughs> it sends you all the way back to the main populated area again. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd love that. <laughs> I would. I, I would do it without hesitation. Well, no, you would. I mean, you would count, didn't you? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to deny that. The answer is the easiest method where you self-destruct the cologne and you end up back at the... Uh, oh, oh, yes. Yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> I think this country is running. No, he's just he's just stopped dead again. It's another one. Let me just check. He's, if his frame shift drives at zero, so that might have something to do with it. But his engines weren't at zero. Uh, I've noticed. Um Uh, planetary uh, conflict zones, yeah, they are still fucked up. Um, the one that really pisses me off uh, with those is um, when the payouts just suddenly stop for no reason. Uh, yeah, that's a great one, that. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, right, you can probably add wanted characters dropping dead when they're scanned too. It just happened to me. Um, I mean, I, I don't mind that so much, because, <laughs> um, yeah, we can take advantage of that one. 
have a 500k, our bounty's got buffed for sure. I remember a fell loss with 300k was about the max. Uh, yeah, bounties have uh, seriously uh, been uh, buffed. Um, yeah, they're, yeah they're, that's, that's it. I mean, we're getting plenty of ships that are paying over a million if you get, you know, Fairlands, Mambas, Type Tens, Anacondas, you know, the usual sort of stuff. But yeah, they're paying um, yeah, ridiculous amounts. There's a, a vulture, he's about 12 and a half kilometers away. A dangerous vulture who's paying 417,000. Tibbs. He seems to be in the walls a bit, his shields are really low. He is attacking a Diamondback Scout. You would have thought the vulture would finish off a Diamondback Scout, no problem. Not this one, clearly. One of my multi cannons is actually out of ammo. It took a while, but it did get there. few ships have shown up now, but whether or not they're any good is another matter. Uh, Hallinan, deadly fed gunship, yeah, he's wanted. He's paying 573 grand. That's going after it. Oh, he's got ship on fire as well. That'll make all the difference. Now, given how much uh, those things are fucking glitching at the moment, yeah, um, I'm gonna try and take this cunt out. No, having chat don't help. so often that uh, you can completely desensitise to it. Alright, let's see the down.
Alrighty, and I'm in two minds whether to report that one might not happen again for one and it's useful for two. Yeah. Um, the thing is, of course, if it's useful and it's something that the players can take advantage of, then it, it gets prioritised, regardless of where it is in the list. Yeah, I just, just saw that. Right, let's have a bit of him. Yeah, he's deadly. I think I'd better uh, synthesise some more ammo. Um, yeah, I'll just do basic. I don't need any more than that. Anyway, and so is Jim, quite considerably. Alright. Well, you, you just flown into him or something. No, fucking come in there with a mobile fucking Jean-Michel Jargig on the front of his shit. Oh. <laughs> Your mind being blue, it is uh, a bit more subtle. And it doesn't really sort of like stand out. That's how you want to stand out. Well, I don't know. They're standing out, and they're standing out. You know. Is he, is he just kind of, yeah, that, that don't help, so is he just running, because I think we're a long old way from the, uh, um, yeah, the actual uh, extraction site now. I think he did, I think he was trying to run, but his uh, frame shift drive was uh, at zero, so yeah, he couldn't, um, he, he can't frame shift uh, out of here, even though that is clearly the, the, his intent. He paid 928 grand, which will do. How far are we? 28.3. Yeah, perhaps it's time to head back again, then, isn't it? Look how small the asteroids are. <laughs> he, he dropped an uh, exquisite uh, focus crystal, if anyone wants that. Oh, I'm heading back again. Ah, uh, yeah, um, a free rearming super cruise exploit took a while to fix. Yeah, uh, yeah, to be honest, it did. Uh, I wasn't sorry that it took him a while to fix that either. <laughs> Especially when it was also redoing your uh, shield cell banks and uh, your heat sinks as well. Oh, 
still see that ship launch fighter. Yeah, I've still got that as well. I've got a master uh, vulture who is in a really bad way. Seven kilometres away. Um, his hull's down to 28 per cent. His shields aren't that brilliant either. They're at 79. I'll try and get over there. He's 11 kilometres away from me. I've got everything to me. Alright. I've got him in range, but I won't fire until we're all here. Oh well. I'm sorry. I'm only getting one. See, it doesn't look like he's doing anything. I think he's 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 sending out. Um, there we go. Right. Everyone's got there. But yeah, it looked like he was sending out uh, collector limpets, um, and that was all he's doing. Oh, there we go. That was um, not the most difficult 277 grand we've uh, made. I've got three vultures, three diamondback explorers. Sh surely these are in. Uh, these are all in wings. Yeah, I got them two. Uh, I got uh, one of the uh, vultures. Only a competent. In a wing or two. So let's have a look at the uh, drops. I mean, that fucking fed drop shit ain't playing a hell of a lot either. And what's this one that's really close to us here? Fed assault ship, master. Uh, yeah, wanted in a wing of three. This one ain't paying. Oh, hang on, no, this one's paying 492 grand. That's better. Wingmen are the uh, other two vultures. That'd be handy if it is. like his wingmen are um, Diamondback Explorers. Honestly, they can be a bit useful and all. Twenty-six? Okay, now. before we took on that anaconda that showed up. Those two fuckers down. There's a python. 
Yeah, I'll take that. Python's wanted, he's deadly. 12 and a bit kilometres. Alright, oh, give me shields a chance to charge up. Charge up at a pretty hefty rate. I realised why um, my shields dropped so low. Because uh, when we was chasing after Anaconda, I chucked everything in engines and weapons to get over there and be able to shoot him, and I changed it back. Uh. who flew in front of us there, but you got a few uh, blasts from the uh, pulse laser. got the uh, short cell banks to charge it up to like three quarters again. Look at that, we're heading down at about like two or three and yeah, he puts them right back up again. Okay, not out of a lot, they're down now. Single figures. Must be going down. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, we've got an elite fed assault ship, uh, Jack Food. Five point six kilometres. He's in a battle with somebody, but yeah. Can't see who he's, he's he's chasing after a, uh, a killback. <laughs> he's going for the real big guns. He's chasing him for killback. <laughs> what a fucking idiot! Yeah, and and this is someone who's elite. Also got this uh, vulture here. Vulture. He's not playing a lot. Yeah. Nah, no, not really. But he is here. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's, that's as good a reason as any. Oh, 
Yeah, I think his wingman is that other um, big dropship or so. See the Enterprise, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's Jim Kirk, that, that's it. Well, Christopher Pike as well. Yeah, you know, in the pilot one, yeah. About Archer. Ah, oh, fucking Archer. Was the last one the one that had uh, Riker and Troy in it? Yeah, that one was shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, the series as a whole was brilliant. It's worth watching just for uh, fucking Jeffrey Coombs as a uh, Andorian, because that bloke's fucking superb in no matter what he's in. Yeah, I, I, I got no problem with Jeffrey Coombs, um, especially in the uh, Reanimator. Yeah, that's where I know him from first. And yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. He's paying um, Fighter from a gunship you killed weeks ago. Um, yeah, so yeah, that that ship launch fighter that's floating around on on my screen. And who, who which of you two has also got a uh, ship launch fighter on on yours? Me, he's out yeah. right in the moment. Yeah, uh, but it's it's a different sh um, yeah, it's a different uh, ship launch fighter to the one that I've got. Um, yeah, left out. Right, Joseph Cutler's getting it, by the way. Alright, message from Herodian. Well, Panther has obviously not seen Return to House on Haunted Hill. No, I haven't. Just the title of that would be enough for me not to watch it. <laughs> I can't say I'm familiar with it either. Yeah, I'm not familiar with it either. Yeah, I'm not familiar with it either. 
I'm assuming Jeffrey Coombs was in that and it was shit. You might want to get a shot on it if you haven't. Uh, yeah. Well, he, he didn't move. Mark J. Hay, deadly fed gunship, who is 12 and a half kilometres away and is paying 627,000. Well, we've been at this nearly two hours and we're up to 30 and a quarter million. Yeah, that'll do. It's not bad, is it? That's, yeah, that works out about the same. Do you remember when I did the street? For, uh, let's see how much we can earn in two hours. When, uh, yeah. Right after they um, up the um, bounty payouts. Yep, I remember it well. Yeah. I do remember we weren't in three couriers for that one. <laughs> no. no. I think I was in the. Um, we were all in Ferdy Lance to start with. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember yeah, we certainly had the uh, Ferdy Lance. Uh, I think I stayed in mine all the time. I think I switched to the uh, Chieftain. Just to shake it up a bit, I think. <laughs> Yeah, now, is this one going to actually uh, blow up when we uh, take out the uh, gunship? That is the big question. Well, I'll, I'll take it out. I'm going to try and take out the ship launch fighter. Yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I'm going to try and take out the ship launch fighter. Uh, see, it, it, if you want to see, or rather not want to see, a film that Jeffrey Coombs is in that isn't great, Reanimator 2 I didn't rate. The first one was fucking great, the second one, nah, I didn't really do it. Did he have the from Beyond as well? Yeah, I saw that. Um, I thought that was a fucking stomach turning film when I first saw it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's archetypal HP Lovecraft, um, but uh, yeah. Um, I want to see horror, not just gore for the sake of gore, you know, and, and that's what that film was for me. It did, have, it did have a fairly decent story to it as well, with the um, with the tuning forks and getting the right resonance to uh, the, the, the resonator, yeah. Yeah. The term my stomach in that is when um, the, the main bad guy, his pineal gland, come out, Jeffrey comes bit off. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think it was the main female character, a bit off the one from Jeffrey Coons' head. Yeah, yeah, good Richie Boy, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I saw her as well. Uh, 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 Richie Boy, dangerous uh, fed assault ship, paying 372 grand. I thought it would be more than that, but I don't know. Radian says, yeah, return to House on Haunted Hill is not Jeffrey Coombs' finest hour. <laughs> There's a vulture about the place. Uh, yeah, I've just seen him. What's he all about? Well, he's deadly. He's bound to be wanted if there's a vulture in uh, 
extraction site, there'll always be wanted. I mean, as much as I, I do like uh, Jeffrey Coons' films, for me, his finest hour, Wayun. Yeah, Wayun was a good character as well. Yeah. Actually, there, there was one that was even worse. Rob Zombie's remake of Halloween 2. Yeah. I mean, he tried to put this weird backstory in there with nothing more than John Carpenter. When you get, like, you know, dream sequences with him and, and a fucking unicorn and that, you do sort of think, what the fucking hell does this have to do with, you know, Michael Myers? The best scene was, um, yeah, the end credits that told me the film was over. Oh, you made it that far, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, um, no, see, I, I would rather watch Rob Zombie's uh, Halloween, uh, I say Halloween there, Halloween 2 than um, Wayne's World. I, I think that film is an insult to intelligence of horseshit. It shows you how challenging, um, you know, this this whole area has been. That we're we're sitting here, sort of like discussing films, while still taking on enemies, and at no point have we been in uh, under any threat. I'm sure I just saw a uh, anaconda uh, just then. Uh, All right, he's down. Let's have a look. Yeah, it was an anaconda. He's deadly. I'm going to stand back a bit. I'm still on uh, 33% shields. This fucking uh, Vulture is still around. He's on 0%, but uh, yeah, we've got to sort of like breathe on him, uh, get him to blow up again. There he goes. Target destroyed. Right. Gale breath. Gale breath. He was in a weird two. 732 grand. I think we're safe from him. Okay. Yeah, you, you mind there you go against that thing.
out of ammo on one of my uh, multi cannons, and of course it would be the one that has uh, corrosive shell. So you haven't got rail guns. Alright, down to single figures. That one too difficult. Core dynamics composites dropped again. We've been um Uh, I've no idea. It's it's Dutch. Uh, I did I did <laughs> attempt to pronounce it once um, as uh, Peter. I'm wondering if it's Peter. Um, yeah, maybe if we get it right. Uh. <laughs> Guess was close. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, you said first, didn't you? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm not particularly fluent in Dutch. Um, when I got married, my uh, my best man was a Dutchman, and his name was Peter. As I say, he was actually South African, but he'd sp he'd spent most of his uh, most of his life in uh, in the Netherlands. Yeah, it's virtually identical. I've got to chase up my mate that lives in the Netherlands. Yeah. Because I'm still waiting to record this album. Okay, we'll get there. I got uh, Andy Baldwin, fed assault ship. Actually, he's behind me. He's been around for a while, he has. He's paying 456,000. Which ain't bad. Anyway, what I was going to say, going on with the line of it, um, no one can manage to pronounce uh, the guy I know in Holland's name properly. No. Um. Yeah, I, I, I get nowhere near it. Well, I can get the tell bit. The, the way to pronounce it is Jaru. Okay. At least that's what he told me. Alright. Yeah, but can't he be a bit of a sort of wind up merchant sometimes? He can tell you that, and then you go there thinking, oh, okay, yeah, I know how to pronounce his name, and it turns out he's completely wrong. Yeah, I, I keep calling it uh, Jerome. Oh, I mean, Mr. Tellman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we call him William. Yeah. <laughs> we have an anaconda. Graphics card, so it might be worth having a look. 
When is patch seven dropping anyway? It's in the next couple of weeks, isn't it? I don't I don't think they've given a date yet, so no one really knows. Fucking know, do they? No, a lot of the time you do get the impression they're making it up as they go along. Well, yeah, Richard Williams. Yeah, see, I think what I might do while I'm on my way there, uh, synthesize some more uh, ammo. So I've got some. Uh, Uh, yeah, corrosive shells. Right, Payton's saying, uh, patch 7 scheduled somewhere in September, and Erodian's saying there's a developer update stream next week. I don't usually bother watching those uh, developer updates because a lot of the time they don't really tell you a hell of a lot. No, they just evade the questions, don't they? Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I steer clear of them, really. Didn't drop any uh, grade fives, so it's a good job you're not collecting them. You'd have to pay extra to have that ship launch fire there every time you come past this part. There. We've got an Imperial Clipper out here. Smithy Cat. He's only a master, but he is paying 490 grand, which ain't bad for a master clipper. That's uh, a, a reasonable uh, argument there. <laughs> all right, all right. If we carry on until about half past, and then uh, we'll uh, head out of here and cash in whatever we've got. How's that sound? Okay. Uh, I'm going to cash in at a station and goes to all my uh, Imperial rankings. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely cashing in at the station. Right. We well, didn't put up out of a lot of uh, uh, resistance. So we got a fed gunship here who's right with us. Trade wins. <laughs> He's paying 431 grand. He's also leaving in a, he's leaving in a big hurry, I think he's gonna bugger off. Trade wins, right? Oh, there goes another fucking rip. Yeah. Let's see if this gets in a turn round. Yes it has. Okay, that's handy. And it's 
Price. Under attack. Well, it's so vaguely funny that it was clearly, you know, someone from uh, that ilk that came up with it. Yeah, you know, only someone who you know is a so-called comedian and thinks right my priority is I mustn't offend anybody rather than I must be funny yeah that's the sort of person who would come up with a name like that watch you think Oscars for jokes right we got here Joe Valentino deadly vulture 11.9 kilometers, only paying 289 grand, but it's another ship to take out. Yes, indeed. And we've passed 35 million. I'm trying to spot where you're going. I'm heading over to where Joe Valentino is. I'm right here, but I'll wait for you two to uh, get in range before I uh, fire on him. Yeah, I was out of sense of range, so. Alright, I won't be for very long. There you go, light him up. Yeah, there's a fair few of us. I don't think he's going to last a hell of a long time. Seen him, yeah. Seven kilometres. He's deadly. I have a clipper as well. Seven hundred and seventy-one thousand. Yeah, I think we'll uh, prioritise this gun. Definitely gonna have to uh, put some more ships together with uh, pulse lasers. I, I am liking these. Yeah, you're very limited, especially once those shields go down. It certainly helps having um, like multi cannons with corrosive shell on it. Um, I wouldn't normally have uh, yeah multi cannons on, on one of my ships. But yeah, as I was saying at the start, this is one ship where um, yeah multi cannons really do work for it. Um, yeah, I think I'd, I'd, I'd spotted, uh, spotted that on every now and then. Okay, someone just smashed me out of the way.
Alright, that's it down. Alright, uh, there's another anaconda in the area, or we can go after that, um... Yeah, the clipper, who was quite close by for a bit. Well, he's too close then. Oh, I think we can manage that. Yeah, I think so. The anaconda's uh, another deadly. He's paying 833,000, so yeah. We'll take the pair of uh, clippers in a wing of three. Yeah. With looks like Imperial Eagles. Actually, no, it's not. It's with couriers. We haven't been in one long. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sort out these fucking uh, couriers. Imagine coming into a somewhere like this in a wing of couriers. Who the fuck would do that? That's fucking fentanyl, isn't it? Shields, getting the shields down is, is the tough part. Once, once they're off, yeah, the hull should be no problem. At least that's the idea. Although, it helps if he doesn't keep using chapel the fucking time. Now, at the rate we're going, that anaconda will have pissed off by the time we finish with these. Only a master, so it shouldn't be as much of a. I mean, he'd still be a pain in the ass, but it shouldn't be quite as much of one. Especially as he seems to be quite happy just standing there letting us blast him. There we go. Yeah, that was more like it. Yeah, that um, anaconda's buggered off. There's a canister of tritium floating around. It's illegal, though. grand. Yeah, it'll be worth going after him. Quiet 
point where I had him on, but... is a type 6 we've got 37.2 million and it's getting on for half 10 so I'm thinking cashing in time well, we're going to go to cash in uh, Lamonosov Colony um, orbiting Lee Hollow it's uh, the nearest station Raven Tunnel again for a bit, but uh, always seems to happen when you leave uh, extraction sites. Right, let's see what we got in the old uh, uh, chats here. Um, they just seem to be fanning on with lighting. The space is too black. I think it's great. Cockpit lighting could use some work though. It's too bright. You know what I think would be the uh, the, the best way of fixing um, the the lighting go back to what it was in Horizons what was wrong with it okay it could have done with a bit of fixing but now they are just constantly you know having to tweak it because some bits of it are too dark some bits of it are too bright just go back to what the fuck you know it was in the first place um, Uh, you haven't run into Roger Colon again. No, not for not for a, a few trips, but uh, yeah, he, he is someone who uh, crops up with unerring regularity. Uh, best NPC name I ever came across is De Totam Ocean. Um the I only know it's type death or something the death something well I'm going to take a while stab in the dark to this ocean but uh, yeah I don't know the exact translation of that oh hang on here we go it means as much as dead man at the ocean beach yeah <laughs> yeah that makes a lot of sense um Probably play or something. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd bet the house on that. Although some of these NPC names, I'll take all the stupid ones over some of the player carrier names I've seen. Some of them are fucking cringe. Yeah, of course. Vegan dreams being the worst one. Well, it wasn't that one that you saw while you were out in Colonia. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, there is a possibility that uh, 
we might encounter that uh, in a few weeks. Yeah. I mean, if ever there was a ship or yeah a carrier that you, you you saw and you wanted to bombard with, uh, you know, tons of bio waste, it's that one. Well, do they are vegans and they they find uh, bio waste quite useful for um, well. Yeah, dump a load of animal meat over them. That's, that's a waste of meat. Oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this should be good. Two of us trying to, uh, Getting to a docking station at the same time. Oh, that was certainly help. Oh, that didn't help. Fucking stutter right as I was uh, turning in. surprise me. <laughs> Alright, so 37,290,808 uh, going in. What's that done to your uh, uh, balances then? Many as that. Right, my balance is now three billion two hundred and forty seven million three hundred and eleven thousand seven hundred and eleven. Okay, I'm just about to cash mine in. Nilsson's belief, I'm pretty sure I murdered an NPC called G Glitter about a year ago. I would be very surprised if there was an NPC named G Glitter in this. Even if there had been originally, they would have taken it out by now. Um, oh, they should put him in so we can kill him. Well, I mean, I, I would... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have absolutely no problem with, you know, uh, shooting those cunts, but, uh, yeah, I mean, again, you know, gaming nowadays, it, they always have, like, you know, the woke generation in mind, and it's just going to be, oh, no, we can't... Especially if you come up, do you want to be in my gang? It's like, not now, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I've lost count of the Nostromos and Sulacos out there, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. Um, not so much Sulacos. I've seen, like, you know, a few, but Nostromos, fucking, they are everywhere. There's quite a few. Uh, what's his name? Donald J. Trump carriers. There's, yeah, there are plenty of those fucking things out there as well. Well, he's not a politician, but one of my ships is uh, the Karl Marx. Yeah, but he's also a historical figure rather than some company that was in power while you was alive, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Karl Marx didn't tell an entire country to inject themselves with fucking toilet duct again. <laughs> 
Well, that's something else that uh, one of my ships is named after uh, the RMS Toilet Duck. Um, the combat ranks moved a pixel. I'm pretty sure mine hasn't. Uh, well, if mine has moved, yeah, I, I, I can't see it. Uh, I'm at the uh, the A in combat now. It looks like I'm approaching halfway into the M of combat. <coughs> me, me, me rank of Lord is still at 13%. That hasn't moved yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think it has to be missions um, to get that uh, to get that moved. Um, oh yeah. Is that, uh, is that Imperial rank? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember where I went. And it, was thing, it was just literally two stations backwards and forwards. And you can whack it up quite quickly. I didn't want to get to Baron so I can unlock the clipper. You know, obviously I want to get up to the cutter eventually, but um, I want to see what the, see what the clippers are all about because um, Commander Lucosa keeps telling me how good they are, and every time I see one in an extraction site, like we beat the living shit out of it really quickly. I can't remember the name of the system, Myanmar or something like that. Myanmar? <laughs> no, I know, I know it won't happen. Myanmar. <laughs> Uh, uh, fucking <laughs> Neymar, yeah. if, if there was a sister called Neymar, I I would be praying that uh, the you know frontier developments would include something like a Death Star, and yeah, I would just blow the fuck out of a lot of it. certainly go along with that um, yeah uh, if we're going back into extraction sites in, in a three player wing yeah three sidewinders yeah um, I think other than your um, shield boosters it is just experimentals that you, uh, you need to do so it, it won't take that long to uh, get that uh, finished off so you can afford a side what well, I'm pretty sure you, you you're all right there at, at, at the moment you know <laughs> Imagine, imagine uh, being this far into the game and not being able to afford a sidewinder. <laughs> <laughs> having to sell me a cutter or something. Um, I'm decommissioning my carrier. Why? I want to buy a sidewinder. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got here? Right. Uh, why doesn't it say towards which elite sub rank you're progressing towards? Um, well. It does, but I mean, it, it the percentage has, has gone, which is really fucking annoying. But it does tell you which of the elite um, sub ranks you're heading to. So obviously, like with me, me combat and me explorer, yeah, I'm on my way up to elite one. But it will show you if it's like you know elite one, two, three, four, and obviously it shows five because you can see it there on the uh, trade rank. Um, a Panther's up to Elite 1 on the, uh, the trade rank there, so, uh, yeah, it, it will show you if you're in, like, you know, Elite 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, um, in that one. 
trying to figure out the kind of linger's name. Whichever way I pronounce it, it's funny. Um, do you do you not remember um, not the nine o'clock news? Because that's where that's where I uh, got it from. Uh, the song at the end of the very last episode, and I I don't care how many people insist otherwise. I am absolutely convinced that in the last line that Rowan Atkinson uh, sings, he does say "cunnilingus," not "kinda lingers." Uh, that's, that's the last of the uh, uh, questions there. Uh, questions there. I guess we head back to the carrier, then, yeah? yeah. Right. Let's fuck off out of here. safely and promptly. I mean, if you really want prompt, I need to come out of there doing about 500 like I normally do. Yeah, it's pushed out. Yeah, which, yeah, and then they moan at you for doing that. So they need to, de they need to decide what it is that uh, they actually want you to do. But, uh, well, I think that is... Uh, is about that. Hang on a minute. Got a couple more questions there. Is that sub rank backwards? I mean, I think I must be elite explorer at least five times. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a sore point with me. Um, no, it doesn't apply uh, the um, progress uh, retroactively. So, no matter how much you've earned, we'll, we'll stick with the exploration um, example. Yeah, no matter how much you have earned, it, it, it counts for nothing. Um, your progress towards Elite 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 starts from the moment you've, you uh, start up Odyssey. Um, and however much you've got beforehand, yeah is just completely ignored which I can't say I like too much I mean in exploration at the start of Odyssey I'd already made I think it was something like 5 billion which should have got me to Elite 5 absolutely no problem but yeah it just completely discarded it Yeah, does that? Yeah, um... about the grind in this game, but I mean, the way I play it, I don't find it particularly grindy at all. I do what I want to do. Well, when it comes to the grind, the only one that I'm not keen on is the grind for getting uh, your suit and your hand weapons. Um, upgraded and, and modded. Actually, I'll tell you, it's not that so much. It's the grind to unlock access to the engineers that will do all of that that I don't like. That is ridiculous. It, they, they've made it way too long-winded. Well, they've improved it slightly. Well, they have uh, with one hand and taken away with the other. So they've made it so that, yeah, now you only need 10 opinion polls to get access to that engineer but at the moment opinion polls are like fucking gold dust um, they are so scarce now so even though you only need 10 they've been made so scarce that you're probably still going to be um, yeah, it's still going to take you as long to get that 10 at the moment 
as it did to get like the the uh, 20 when I was uh, unlocking it. Uh, it's out and out cuntish is what it is. Uh, there's no excuse for it. But it is basically their way of artificially increasing how long you'll be uh, playing the game for. Which in turn it's, it's a bit like admitting, yeah we put in a lot of features but not a lot to actually do um, within it. Uh, I mean, I, for me, it's pretty obvious that the idea was always like Horizons, you know, put the framework in and then build on it and add stuff over the years. The trouble is, with uh, Odyssey, the framework was in such an abysmal state when uh, it was published that um, it's going to take them quite a while to get the framework working. And then, of course, when they add stuff to it, they're, gonna, they're just going to break it all again. So, how much they are going to add, or even if they are going to add anything at the moment, who's to say? Alright, uh, we've got here in the comments. Retroactively, that's the word. Uh, believe me, your English is significantly better than my Dutch. I know one Dutch word. Apartheid. There you go. Um, uh, settlement defence plans are the worst. Uh, yeah, settlement defence plans are by far the most difficult. They are horrendous. Um, the best place to go, or at least it was when I was getting them, I don't know if it's still going to be the case now, but it was uh, Aurea or, or Rev, whichever one it is, the the anarchy system anyway. Um, I got, I think, pretty much all of mine from there. Uh, I've got loads of stuff for everything after that. Cat media is way more common. Um, yeah, to, to be honest, since I finished uh, doing like the upgrades and uh, the engineering on my weapons and my suits, I'm not even bothered with it. I've I've not gone looking. The only time now that I do anything on foot is either um, exobiology or conflict zones, and that is it. Um, I haven't done any uh, like on foot missions for quite a while now. Um, I plan on doing the minimum of upgrades on my pioneer suit pre-order perk and then head off on an exploration trip when I install Odyssey. Um, yeah, to be honest though, I've, I've heard quite a few people say that um, and then they get, they do get into it a bit more. Uh, yeah, don't like on foot stuff at all. I, I was like that. Um, I had no interest in the whole space legs for lack of a, you know, I fucking hate that term, but it, it, it was what everyone was calling it. And I had no interest in it whatsoever. Um, but when it got added, I gave it a try. I must admit, I did actually think it was pretty good. And even some aspects of it which I had zero interest in, like the surface conflict zones, I did actually find myself uh, uh, going to those um, quite often. And I, I, when they work, uh, I do think they are quite enjoyable. Um, so much so, you fucking dragged me into it. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, what do you two uh, reckon to... Uh, yeah, I mean, what do you two think of the actual on-foot uh, content that's been added? When it works, fine. I mean, uh, oh, I know my uh, graphics settings are down a bit on yours because of the card I'm using. I've only got a 2 gig um, GTX 950, so it's a, it, it struggles a bit, but um, we went to a conflict zone, we went there three times, and I didn't have any issues at all. Mm. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind it, I, I prefer the exobiology and the, the, the plant hunting, you know, zipping around and skimming over the planet and doing the flying part of it, but... Uh, yeah, I wanted nothing to do with the uh, ground stuff. I originally, I pre-ordered Odyssey because I was given some money for my birthday and I didn't know what else to spend it on. And I knew both Jim and Chris 
had, had got it, and I thought, well, these are the guys I play with. I've got the money. I'll get on of saying, I thought I'll just carry on doing what I'm doing. But uh, Chris has kind of convinced me to try a few things, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. So I've upgraded me uh, my suits and my weapons to about level three. I think one suit's level four. And uh, yeah, jumping down the planet and killing cunts can be quite quite therapeutic. <laughs> I, I actually prefer doing the on, on foot stuff in a week. I think it's far more enjoyable than you can, without sort of being like those pricks on the uh, original train. That you can actually have some proper strategy between the two of you or the three of you, and then actually um, make some progress. Um, like, oh, okay, you're doing your own. Yeah, go. Yeah, we did that that day, didn't we? When we was in when we was in the thingy. Um, Chris uh, had, had uh, an illegal. He had what you you scan someone, so you were illegal. Yeah. So I went outside the door, got the guard to scan me while he he like, you know legged it <laughs> the other way. Yeah, that's right. I went and cloned someone, and I stayed on the roof. He Chris scanned me to get the cloned ID and turn the things off in the. Uh, control centre and you were distracting the guards. And uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that worked well. really well. That was actually good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that that was alright. Eh? Um, what else we got here? Uh, Aurora as well. I've been trying to get them, but it's soul destroying. Oh, it is. I mean. Aurora is, yeah, like I say, it, it was the best place to go to get settlement defence plans. But I was still getting like one every um nine or ten um reboots which of course you can't do anymore you can't do the relogging thing um so you you've got to you know fucking launch turn around and come back again uh on every attempt and you know uh maybe i'll like it after all uh, yeah i mean there, there is uh, that chance I have an RTX 2070 Super, doesn't promise it will run good. It will run good. The problem is, um, yeah, there are issues with, like, you know, a huge amount of stuttering and uh, frame rate uh, loss. But it has nothing to do with your graphics card. Um, because the game is so, uh, you know, so reliant on the servers, absolutely everything has to go through the, the servers even like really tiny fucking menial stuff like what items are there going to be in you know like the lockers and uh and you know and, and the various containers scattered about and what are the names and you know the uh roles if you like of the uh other settlement um employees and all that and it's all done through the servers, but it's never done in advance. So it waits until you're actually there. And because the servers are shit, and because the net the network code um, redefines shit, um, a lot of the time the game is waiting for the you know the communication between the game and the server to actually get established and for the game to get a reply from the server and while it does that the game just stops so you get all this stuttering um and massive drops in uh like your, your frames per second but it's not uh the graphic engine that, that's doing it it's, it's not your graphics card it's entirely to do with uh the servers and that is where the big issue um really lies with the game if they could bring in somebody who could you know, actually program net code, then a lot of the problems would be solved. Unfortunately, that sort of person costs money, which means frontier developments are never going to do it. I'm pretty sure the way they um, render the graphics, they actually burn GPU cycles, rendering stuff that isn't visible. Well, yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, they do do a lot of that. Uh, I mean, everything is being rendered. There's, I mean, they have brought in some uh, culling now, but as always, it's done in a very rudimentary way. Um, 
it, yeah, it's not done very well at all, so it doesn't make a great deal of difference. I do get 60 frames a second in space. That's, I'm playing on a telly, so that's the most it'll that's the most it'll do anyway. <coughs> and I think um, the way I've got my graphics set up now, uh, it looks it looks perfectly usable. Um, and you know, I'll get anywhere between 30 and 60. Occasionally, if I go onto a concourse on a station, it might drop to 25. But I was playing PC games where if you had 30 frames a second, you had a power station. So anything over 30 is fine for me. Would I would I like 60 with everything on ultra like I had in the Ryzen? Yeah, of course I would. But it's still it's still not game breaking. You know, you get these people complaining. Oh, I'm not <coughs> 4K on my free screen. And it's like, well, well, fuck off. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. So the, the number of games where you are going to get, you know, 60 FPS minimum on, you know, a triple 4K setup uh, is, you know, yeah, that list is very, very small. And yet they are using it to um, bash this. Uh, I mean, you know, the game does not deserve, you know, high praise. Uh, Frontier developments were fucking insulting us by releasing the game in the state that they did. But, uh, you know, make your complaints legit, you know, um, because otherwise it, it's, it's going to get to a point where, well, well, you end up with people constantly complaining about the game because you can't buy a drink at the bar, which will, of course, revolutionise the gameplay. Or, uh, you know, and of course, the big one, uh, no ship interiors, you know. I mean, the number of people who play this game now and will only use small ships because they can't be bothered to walk from the lift all the way along, uh, you know, towards the entrance to, of a large ship. And yet these people then want ship interiors. So once you've got inside, you've got to walk around your ship and that to get to the, um, uh, the cockpit. Well, if the majority of people are, you know, choosing ships purely on the fact that, oh, well, it doesn't take as long to uh, board it, why the fuck would they then want that to be extended even further by walking through the, the, the fucking interior of the thing? Oh, it's, it's infuriating. Concourse and the game looks like a game from 2010 and it runs like this. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, visually the concourse is very, uh, yeah, it is very dated. I mean, they're, they're, 
there really is like no excuse for the game running the way it does. Um, but that again is another example of the fact that there is almost no culling done. So everything is being rendered fully, even though the vast majority of the time you're not seeing uh, an awful lot of it. <coughs> so, uh, and the other thing is, of course, you're seeing the, um, you know, the, the actual docking station uh, interior as well through the window. So again, it's constantly having to access the uh, servers because a player could at any moment be docking into the ship and it, and it has to be there constantly checking to see if, if a player's coming in and, you know, uh, oh. so again, it's, it's, you know, the fact that everything is being done through the servers that is uh, uh, probably the biggest problem. Um, do you remember when uh, Odyssey first started? Because um, they've definitely, definitely made improvements. And we went to a station, and I said, oh, that's brilliant. I can see right out into space. And you went, well, you shouldn't be able to fucking do that. There should be a, there should be a landing strip. Yeah. But I can see out in the space. So uh, because I've only got two gig of video memory, um, my game wasn't drawing the, you know, all the landing pads and the ships coming in and out of the letterbox and that. I just had space. Uh, boy, it made the game run quicker. Yeah, I, I remember that, yes. Um, uh, next comment, Erodian again. Uh, they're trying to get interiors sneakily put in, I think, by complaining that there's nothing to do when you're sitting in a taxi. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think that is their latest uh, sort of strategy, for lack of a better word, um, of trying to get Frontier Developments to, to put... Um, uh, yeah, the, the ship interior is in. Um, but the thing is, if let's say for an instance, right, you know, that it worked and Frontier Developments did do that, they will put it in for the adder, nothing else, because they don't need to put it in for anything else. Um, so they'll give people what they're asking for by, you know, this, this, oh, I can't, you know, I'm just sitting in the taxis not doing anything, um, bullshit. But it won't be enough, because it won't be anywhere near good enough. Um, of course it won't be. It'll be like, oh, I want, I want an Anaconda taxi, I want to, I want to, I want to cut a taxi, I want a Corvette taxi. Yeah. Uh, Do they walk around the whole back seat and have a look in the boot and that? Yeah. Just sit there and wait till they get where they want to go. Yeah. Um, next comment. Uh, my biggest problem with Elite right now in the FPS is that we have too many foundations that have been initiated but never been expanded upon. Uh, I don't mean CQC. Well... <laughs> I mean, CQC was certainly one, but uh, I mean that is, I think, one of the things that makes uh, Odyssey seem very shallow is the fact that yeah, it it is purely uh, a foundation, and you know it's waiting for stuff to actually get added to it. But because of the state it's in, it's going to be a long old while before we do actually get anything like that. You know, um, so. Don't hold your breath waiting, basically. <laughs> yeah, wrote in saying he'd like to go into some uh, abandoned settlements like the old ones, the deserted prisons and such like. Missing persons missions. Yeah, that might be interesting. Well, I mean, the uh, stuff like... Uh yeah, Dabs Hope and, uh, and all that, you know. Oh, gee, I mean, Dabs Hope is another one that they've gone and fucked up, haven't they? Um, you go there and you can't pick anything up because it's all being rendered underneath the surface. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Right. They're going to bring out the drilling machine, SRVs, so you can go there again soon. No, is that it? Okay, right. You heard it here first. <laughs> A bright yellow SRV with JCB written on the side of it. Get your materials from Dabs Hope. Well, the frame rate, I mean, the same as Gorilla on the Commodore 64. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there, there was uh, one occasion, um, I mentioned this in a, a previous video, where I um, 
I was getting frames per second that was was worse than uh, Driller on the C64. Um, I did take some screenshots. I think I shared it with you two, didn't I? Um, and the, the the frames per second were showing us three, then two. Um, by the time it got to frames per second one, um, it was so unresponsive that even though I was pressing F10 to take uh, the the screenshots. Um, uh, Peter's off. Uh, uh, yeah, cheers for stopping by and all that. Um, the, yeah, once. Hang on, hang on a second. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. You didn't put an all outside on your door, did you? That's your problem, there, mate. Well, yeah, that, yeah, that is the problem. I put one on that said I'm re actually. I said I'm recording. I should have said this is going out live. But there you go. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it got to the point where it was so unresponsive that even though I was pressing F10 to take screenshots, no, it, it, the key press didn't register. Um, and yeah, at one point, uh, FPS went down to 1, and then it did actually go down to FPS 0. And um, it was averaging something like 8 seconds per frame. Let alone, you know, eight frames per second. No, eight seconds per frame. It was that ludicrous. Yeah, that is quite shit. Anyway, uh, I mean, at least it's in, well, yeah, it's, it's in a, a better state now. Um, not that it could have got much worse or indeed any worse. Which is one of the reasons why, uh, oh, God. Yeah, I mean, the, the chances are we were not going to be put in the, uh, the the same instance. So, I mean, yeah, at least the instancing thing, it's not perfect. It does still fuck up occasionally, but it's nothing like what it was. No. Well, we'll have to see how we get on with a, a winged uh, complex zone. Next time. Well, that that's what I was going to say. I, I think what helped it tonight was the fact that, uh, yeah, we weren't actually doing any Odyssey content. It was, you know, <laughs> basically we could we could have done this in the Horizons. Uh, but I do think that, yeah, um, if we try a three-way planetary conflict zone, yeah, then we'll see how well it is working. Um, that could be uh, quite the test. It looks like the first time I've actually been in a uh, planetary conflict zone with uh, more than one person in in a wing. Oh, a team, I should say. Sorry, yeah, it's not wing anymore, is it? It's team. <coughs> yeah, uh, as long as no one starts saying things like, oh, you know, you can't do that, 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 you know, you can not do that you know you can not do that you yeah, yeah, that's 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 much more along the lines of what I'd be using. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, on on that note, um, I think this uh, this stream has been going on for yeah significantly longer than I planned. Um, so uh, unless there are any other comments that uh, I um, no no more there, the Rodian I think is uh, <laughs> about to call it a night. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so are we. Uh, there we go. Well, we made about 35 million in the uh, extraction site, which I, I think is pretty good going. Um, Not too bad at all. Yeah. And then we got the chance to have a bit of a rant at uh, <laughs> Frontier Developments and uh, Odyssey at the end anyway. So uh, yeah. All good stuff. Uh, so that will do uh, for this one. Um, I don't know when the next one will be, but I do suspect it will be the three of us in a uh, surface conflict zone. So maybe next week. <laughs> maybe. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, go away.